What's going on everyone, Mike here and in this video we're going to unbox this thing, the Asus G551JK. It's a 15.6 inch gaming laptop, part of Asus's Republic of Gamers line. The box looks pretty nice, you have uh, the laptop here on, uh, on this uh, part, uh, gaming notebook PC, G-series uh, and uh, the Asus logo over here. But uh, let's go ahead and see what's inside this thing. Okay, so you have a nice brown box here uh, on the interior. It says Republic of Gamers over here, not sure if you can see that. Republic of Gamers, looks nice. Uh, the laptop, which is wrapped inside this uh, white protection. We're going to put it on the side for a little bit and let's see what else, what else do we have here. Uh, this is a UK power plug. We also have a new S power plug on this device. In here, uh, in here we have another US power plug and the power brick. Uh, it's a 19 watt, 6.32 amps, amps um, AC adapter, which I believe is a 120 watt hour adapter, something like this. Okay. Let's see what else we have in this other compartment. Okay, we have a new European plug this time, uh, which we're going to need here. And the battery, which is in this plastic wrapping. Let's go ahead and remove that. Rather noisy wrapping. Okay, we're going to need this battery. And let's go ahead and take the box out of the way. Okay, now the laptop, we're going to take it out of this thing and there it is, this is how it looks, pretty nice, it has an aluminum cover, it has an uh, ROG Republic of Gamers logo here on the hood, uh, I believe this is backlit, uh, of course this uh, metallic black uh, cover will catch your fingerprints and smudges easily. You can probably see that in here that I've already left some smudges on this hood. Uh, the back is made from uh, plastic, rough plastic, uh, pretty solid. Over here in the front uh, there's this uh, bay that you can take apart. It, it's uh, fixed in two screws, which are standard Phillips screws. And uh, you can get access to the memory and the hard drive. And here on the back you have the battery. Let's go ahead and connect that. Like this. Okay. And now we could we can go ahead and power on this thing. Okay, here's the interior, nice chiclet keyboard here with uh, with uh, red uh, keys, black keys uh, with red writing on them. A uh, nice uh, large trackpad over here, glass trackpad, metallic interior. Uh, you have a matte uh, non-touch screen, so standard screen matte. Um, and this uh, bezel around it, which is made from plastic, but overall this thing looks really really nice. Okay, let's go ahead and boot it on. There were, I've heard a lot of complaints about this screen. Um, and I'm, I was curious if this model will include an IPS panel on a TN pa or a TN panel. I'm going to tell you all about that in the review. Um, for now, let's wait for it to load and then I can tell you a couple of other things about it. Not really sure which configuration I got here because I've received this from Asus. I'm going to have to check that uh, once uh, this thing boots. But um, um, first we'll have to go through all this uh, setup process um, and we're going to get back when, once, uh, once I'm done. Alright, here we go. And my first impression is that this screen looks phenomenal. Uh, it's pre I'm pretty sure it's an IPS panel, you can see the viewing angles, they're very wide and uh, TM panels won't be able to, to perform like that. Uh, it's not a touch screen like I said before. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, launch browser and check out the colors. Uh, 
Uh, it's looking, it's looking nice. Of course, I'm going to tell you more about this screen uh, in the review. I'm going to to benchmark it with my colorimeter. Uh, okay, uh, let's go ahead and see uh, what's uh, the hardware on this unit. Okay, properties. Okay, so we have the Core i7-4710HQ processor with 16 gigabyte of RAM. Um, okay. We also have the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 860M a graphics chip, uh, probably the DDR5 model because that's included on uh, on the G551 laptop. Uh, we also have. Uh, okay, let me check this. Okay, we also have a, an SSD, it's a 256 GB SSD, so this is one of the higher end models available right, uh, here in Europe. Uh, in the US, I'm not really sure if this exact configuration is available, but uh, I will tell you all about uh, this in the description. And uh, of course in the written review and uh, the video review that will be available here on the channel and on the site on ultrabookreview.com in a couple of days, maybe a week, a week and a half. Okay, um, that's about it for now. These were my first impression of the Asus G551. It's a 15 inch uh, multimedia gaming laptop and it's one of the most affordable devices available right now in stores that can offer this kind of specs. Okay, we're going to wrap this up for, for now. Uh, don't forget to check out the review in a couple of days. Uh, check out the site ultrabookreview.com for more details on uh, these computers. And uh, you can also find here on the channel my reviews of the Asus N551, which is the silver multimedia version of this laptop, and the Asus G771, which is the 17-inch version of this particular model. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.